Last week, we took the bikes up to visit my in-laws, and my daughter brought the penny farthing. She had a great time riding it, but the wheel really isn't all that round. So I'm going to disassemble the wheel and try to straighten it out a bit, and let's see how it goes. Now that I made the bearing cups, moving the wheel from the bike is pretty easy. The four screws and the wheel drops right off. Next, I'm removing the zip ties that I'm using to hold the tire to the wheel. I want to maintain the lacing pattern, so I'm adding twist ties to the wheel. Everywhere that the spokes cross, I'm adding a twist tie. I don't know that losing my lacing pattern would be such a big deal, but I'd rather not. Now removing the tire from the wheel. As the tire is a piece of rubber hose, uh, it's actually a very thick walled rubber hose, but a piece of rubber hose with a steel wire holding it together, uh, that's all it takes. Removing every single spoke and nipple was a bit of a task, and a lot of the nipples were just barely holding on, I think. So it looks like I'm gonna have to replace a bunch of them. This part made me think that maybe this was a mistake to undertake the project. Seems easy enough, but removing all the spokes really took a while. But finally, I'm done. I'll set the hub and spoke assembly somewhere where it won't get disturbed so that the spokes don't come tangled up or banged out of place. I bought this ring roller from Harbor for about 80 bucks. Seems like a pretty nice little unit, but it's made for up to a quarter inch thick steel. Uh, the rim isn't steel, it's going to be much softer, but there's no way that it fits in between the rollers. So I'm removing the rollers and we'll be rolling the, uh, the hub just in between the, uh, the shafts of the ring roller. I started off leaving one of the rollers on, but it didn't really fit as well, so I ended up removing it as well. I think I got the rim pretty well rounded, but I did end up breaking one of the welds. I'll have to re-weld that. I have to clean off the rough edges and clean up the welding area so that I can make a decent weld. I've got the two pieces fixtured up. As you can see, there's a, an okay gap in between there. As it turns out, the uh, two spoke holes were a little bit too close together, so I tried to get them a little bit more standard as the others are. The welding isn't great, but I'm definitely getting better as I practice. I guess one of the things we're really trying to show in these videos is go for it and give it a try. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but if you try it, you can get better. Rolling the rim down the road kind of shows that it's pretty, uh, pretty round now. It doesn't bounce up and down like it was. It's not perfect, but I think it's pretty good. Bending the rim around as well as welding tended to close some of the holes up, so I'm going ahead and drilling them through. In the next video, We'll relace the wheel up and put the penny farthing back together. I think it's going to run a lot better now. Thanks for watching.